but in the philippines when i just came here i noticed filipino have a particular accent you know in with the you know say society was like i want to go here i don't like what you're doing yeah do you get the matter to go here what is the problem oh my god kuya ate yo what's up guys and welcome once again to my youtube channel my name is kano chinedu praise so how are you guys doing today hope you guys are keeping safe i hope you guys are really had an amazing day in wherever you guys are watching me from actually it's kind of very chill and cool here in the philippines because it's you know it's rained since morning not really that too rainy but it was just drizzling for like few hours and stops few hours and stop but you know it's really interesting that you know the whole environment is very very cool and you know we all have the chance you know not to switch on our fan uh maybe switch on our ac and you know have the opportunity for us to use the natural air outside so it's quite a very big privilege for me because here in the philippines if you don't have your fan or you don't have your air condition you can't really you know survive here because it's very very hot like kind of very very hot if you come here it's really very very gonna be it's gonna be very difficult for you to really adapt but i guess as time goes and you know you have your fan you have your air condition you know you can be able to survive and you know i mean have you know a very very nice time in the philippines just like you see i'm actually having now so in this video i'm gonna be discussing and highlighting habits which i picked up living here in the philippines or should i say habits which i lost living here in the philippines so i want you guys to really stay tuned and um enjoy this video but before i continue if you know you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel please consider subscribing turn on your notification bell so that you can be able to get future video even as i upload and also don't forget to smash the like button and also don't forget to comment on what you really you know think about the video so without no further ado let's get back to the video so um number one habit i really lost or should i say habit i really picked up living in the philippines is the way i pronounce some certain words you know my country nigeria were colonized by the british and you know philippines were colonized by the americans and also the spanish and also the japanese and other you know colonies that actually we are here in the philippines but i would say it's actually what really contributed to you know the way they actually pronounce some words because you know uh in my country we pronounce words more of like um vowel sounds because in the vowel sound we have a a e o o you understand but in the philippines they pronounce it exactly how the word sounds like me i call it walk but here in the philippines they call it work and also philippines they find it it's quite very very difficult for them to really use one to i like i want to buy something they want to tell you like if the filipino really want to say that they say i want to buy something i'm gonna go here i'm gonna buy why in nigeria africa we tend to use like i want to buy something i want to go here i want to get this but here in the philippines they have a different you know way they actually pronounce some certain, certain words like here in the philippines words that have actually you know get or uh, acclimatized or let me say adjusted to living here in the philippines is like i wanna i'm gonna work you go to jerk you want to go to school and also they have an accent in which they you know pronounce some stuff like me if i but when i came in the philippines it was like i want to go here to buy something but in the philippines when i just came here i noticed filipino have a particular accent you know in with the you know say society was like i want to go here i don't like what you're doing kuya do you get the matter to go here what is the problem oh my god kuya Ate, please i want to go buy something like i could remember i know places i actually go to buy something when i'm speaking they say kuya you're speaking very very fast can you talk very very slow so if i really want to you know make uh fun of them uh sometimes i just want to make them laugh i'll just say okay i'm gonna try to talk very very slow in the filipino way so i'll just say okay ate like i'll say pabili i want to buy biscuit how many biscuit do you want to buy i say i want to buy two biscuits so you know what i say that they're gonna be laughing because normally that's really how the filipino you know really uh say their word like they don't i don't know like the way they pronounce it is kind of very funny to me though 
and it's also very interesting because you know uh when i came here you know it was i like i speak very fast not just only to my filipino friend like people say like don't i have full stop or i don't have a comma when i'm speaking you know so when i go to buy something or maybe if i'm with a friend or probably i mean most of those friends they really know how to speak english very very well for the filipino people but you know when i'm speaking they kind of find it very very difficult for them to really you know adjust but when i now continue to stay here you know i had to you know just tell myself that i really need to you know really adjust to really the way you know the filipino can be able to understand me so at the moment now i don't really know that you know that is exactly how i sound but when I talk to some of my friends, some of my African friends, some of my Nigerian friends, some of my friends back at home. They like to tell me like, bro, praise, your voice has changed. The way you actually sound, the way you've pronounced, it has just, you know, um, really changed. It's not like the way, you know, when you, when you, when you, when you were back at home, like you, you already talk like this, but really the country, um, the way the country says some certain words, the way the country speaks their type of english or should i say their accent has actually influenced the way you you know really talk even at the moment here now even if when i speak they still tell me praise man your bro your voice has changed like your accent you they do like feeling like you are actually you know behaving like a filipino but i don't really know but i just feel that you know i mean the more you stay in a country you know you might not actually tell that you know some things have changed but it's people who actually know you very well they can tell that you know you have you know really changed in the way you know say some certain words the way you um so that's it so the second one is the way the filipino really express themselves in words so what i mean to say is this you know um when i came here i noticed the filipino when they're very excited or maybe when they're very angry they say some words they actually say three or four words they say grabby or they say talaga or they say putang ina or tanga you know one of those words they actually use that sometimes when they're angry excited happy so it was like uh, i was like okay what's the meaning of this 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 so gradually and gradually you know i, I actually love the way they actually you know when they're very excited they just go grabby or sometimes talaga really you know something like that actually grabby is like really it's more of like an expression maybe if they're excited or maybe if they're angry or maybe for example you know they hear some chismosa words they say really grabby huh i know you know like that and sometimes in a very funny way they use the word tanga like tanga is stupid like or maybe they use the word value like you know words like that they actually use it very very well so you know gradually you know what i asked what's the meaning of that so okay it's, what's the meaning of tanga tanga is stupid what's the meaning of grabby talaga and other stuff like that so gradually you know it wasn't like i actually put it in my subconscious all of a sudden something you know, i actually heard from them that was exactly what i didn't really know i was saying unconsciously so we were drinking and uh i mean we, we were actually drinking so we did it through truth or dear stuff so the guy who bought the drink he didn't want to drink and when i finished one bottle of like it's just like a short ginebra like it's a short dinner i finished everything i went he had drink it was a grabby i said ah what happened he said bro you finished all the drink what happened i said no because you said that i should drink it so it was more of like a competition so he now took since i finished one bottle of guinea bra he now like finished like two bottles of guinea bra and i was like grabby talaga and all the filipinos who were actually rubbed they say huh you speak philip like you know how to really uh really express yourself in some filipino words and to be honest with you i didn't really know when i said that and gradually it's now started becoming part of me like if i just see some certain things instead of me to say wow okay i'll just say grabby really talaga you know things like that so it was something that i was subconsciously or unconsciously really building in myself without me really knowing and sometimes if i'm actually making calls to non-filipino people I usually use the word they call grabby or talaga even without me knowing they'll be the one that asking me am i a filipino am i in your country i mean what's the meaning of that you know and things like that so i would really say those the way actually filipino really express himself when they're angry and also there's a word they actually use very very well they use the word like putangina or bonina putangina is also like it's also good it's a good bad word and also it's a good word like sometimes you know when they're excited or maybe when they're trying to make fun of their friends you know they use the word they call um putang ina you know and sometimes if they're angry you know they use that word 
but i'm not saying you know if you're a foreigner you need to really say that it's except you know that's your friend filipino friend which you know you are actually hanging around with it's someone you know you're very very close to but you can't just say it to a random stranger or else man they're gonna box your you know boxing they're gonna box third habit i picked up here in the philippines is constantly eating rice almost every time like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday like you're eating rice when i came here in the philippines earlier you know there weren't much foreigners i won't say there weren't much you know africans here so it was quite very difficult for really us to you know really buy the type of food we really love to eat um uh, majority of the majority of the food filipino really eat here is rice like they eat rice here 24 hours like they eat rice morning afternoon and night so uh back in my country i mean we don't really we don't eat rice almost in a day we don't even eat some places don't even some families don't even eat rice like either you right, eat beans you eat um potato or you eat um green beans just we eat different types of food but in the philippines if you go to a filipino family household and there's no rice that house is not complete like they can't stay without rice to be honest with you like a lady can like your girlfriend can come to the house and eat all types of food but throughout that day she must eat rice so when i came here it was quite very hard and difficult for me to adjust because i wasn't really a fan of eating rice i can't be eating like one particular kind of food every every time but you know you don't have a choice so like when i came here you know i had to like man bro if you don't want hunger to eat you up you know you really need to start eating the rice or else all else hunger will chop you like hunger will hit you very very well and you just you don't really have a choice so i have to you know start eating rice you know at the moment now like if i don't even eat rice in a day it's like i haven't really eaten any stuff to be honest with you i eat rice like two or three times in a day and it's really something that i have actually you know try and start getting used to yeah i eat other food but you know if i don't really eat rice in a day it's like man i haven't really eaten any food because i feel like you know i haven't really eaten any stuff because uh rice is more of like the healthier carbohydrate that is really in the, that you can eat here in the philippines and you can feel very very full but you know at the moment now that you know they're actually more foreigners and you know people are actually opening businesses here you know from different countries you know you know people are now you know trying to now adjust and eat you know their country food but at the moment if that's by the fact i'm still eating the whole okra soup egusi soup and all types of you know traditional food from nigeria I can't actually stay with the rice like there was a time like in a day i eat rice like three times and it still doesn't really change exactly how i see it it's like it's something up so right now now if i go to any filipino house and they just say ah we have rice in the house it will really shake me very very well because my life is built around rice morning rice afternoon rice night the next day rice morning rice afternoon rice night you know you know Fourth habit I picked up here in the Philippines, or I said, I would say I lost in the Philippines, is wearing short knicker and traveling or going to far places. Because in Africa, or would I say the country which I'm coming from, it's really very, very, I mean, it's quite very difficult for a guy to a short knicker. Like, if we're going for an important, for an important occasion, we usually prefer to wear a jean or corporate or just generally we like to wear a long pants but wearing a short it's kind of really weird if in my country like wearing short and going out just like you wear a shoe and wear short and i'm not saying that people don't really wear it but majority of the guys who go out or probably if they're going for an important occasion it's very very difficult it's really on it's not it's it's not really it's kind of hard for you to see uh a guy in nigeria or in africa really wearing short nika and going traveling to far places but when i came here oh boy like i've seen filipinos like they wear even shorts that looks like boxer and with they wear a, a sneaker and they just travel and go places i was like whoa man are you serious like so gradually you know it's i actually loved it very very well but you know uh in some con in my country you know i you, you wear some tight clothes it feels like you know you're you're trying to show off or maybe some might even say you're like this, you're like this gender, like people would just say some certain things, even though really that's not exactly what's on your mind. But really when I came here in the Philippines, it now really gave me an avenue to really, you know, wear short. I really love wearing short very, very well, but you know, uh, because of, you know, where I'm coming from, I just have to, you know, pretend or adjust to just how, but I really love short very, very well. And uh, I would say majority of places I go to, I really, I usually wear short very, very, like I just wear my short, wear my sneakers and you know 
just go out or like you know when i'm in nigeria if you're going out if you don't wear your long pants yeah, your mom will tell you what are you why are you wearing the short pants you're dressing naked why don't you wear a long jean and dress like a responsible guy and blah 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 you know things like that but here in the philippines it really gave me avenue so i would say i really liked it but you know the philippines helped you know me you know to really improve in that aspect of very short naked and traveling to far distance or probably going for you know an uh, occasion the habit i picked up living here in the philippines is going to the toilet and not using tissue paper to clean your ass i guess it's very very funny because here in the philippines they don't use tissue paper to clean their ass they prefer to use too big that's water to you know clean their ass and wash themselves but in my country or in africa you know we use uh, tissue paper you know to clean our ass like we don't really use water to clean our ass so when i came in the philippines they said if you use the tissue paper it's gonna you know block the it's gonna really block the uh water passage you know i mean or maybe if you pull or you use the tissue paper it's really gonna you know affect the sewage system so as you can see you know at the moment like for you to use your hand to wash your pool from your ass it's kind of very 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 awkward but right now i'm used to it like I can't even remember when last I used um, tissue paper to wash my ass. To be honest with you, like, you go to the toilet, just know that there is no tissue paper. So when you get to the toilet, you just know that you're going to use the water to wipe your ass. Like, don't wait for tissue paper because here in the Philippines, like, they are more of like, um, I would, they are more of like very, I don't really know why they do that, but I would say maybe it's something that is really embedded in their culture. So uh i hope you really enjoyed this video so much and i hope really you guys really learned something from this vlog about the philippines but before i go lest i forget please if you know you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel please consider subscribing turn on your notification bell so that you can be able to get future video and i got to understand that you know people actually watch my video but they don't like my video and also they don't subscribe i would say like uh 60 percent of people actually watch my video they don't really haven't even subscribed so if maybe you are among those 60 percent people who are actually watching my video please you know consider subscribing you know smash that like button and don't also you know forget to comment on what you really think about this video so without further ado take good care of yourself stay safe and ingat